Now how's it going today? Right now what I'm trying to do is get the sprayer calibrated, to get ready to spray. Get that corn sprayed over there, you can't see the rows in very well. Can't spray today anyhow, the breeze is getting up there pretty good. But I had to get some re-plumbing done. This got cracked into here, it was leaking, so I had to put a new control on it. Get all my plumbing replumbed. Take care of a few leaks, had a plugged line. So, a bunch of little stuff. Pretty much everything seems to be working here now. Now I gotta gay, find out what it's putting per acre. These tips I got in here now, what I'm aiming for is 20 gallons the acre. But anything over 15 is fine with me. I just gotta find out what it's putting on. If it's putting on 15 gallons to the acre, well I know for every 15 gallons of water I put in, to put the amount of chemical I need per acre. If it's 20 gallon, then I gotta figure for 20 gallons of water. And there's several things I can adjust to it. You can adjust your speed, you can adjust your pressure, but you gotta watch that too, because you don't want too high a pressure, then it makes a small water droplet, and it drifts more. Too low of a pressure, you get too big of a water droplet, and you don't get the coverage you need. So, what I want is between 35 and 40 pounds. Usually puts out the size droplet you need for these tips. And the first thing you do to this is how you calibrate a sprayer with tips on 20 inch spacings. That's what these are. And I'm gonna admit this step because I did it the other day and I'm not gonna do it again. But it doesn't change much from year to year. But the first thing you do is you measure out 204 feet. And then you take, put the tractor in the gear you want to be running in and the RPM for your PTO, or the RPM you're going to run, or whatever. And you make a couple passes. Now if you got a bigger sprayer than this, ideally what you want to do if you're going to be plow or spraying on corn ground that's been plowed, you want to take, say you had a 700 gallon sprayer, you want to take that half full and do your test out in the field because you're going to have you're going to be slowed down because of compaction and the soft ground slipping and stuff. Now for this size tractor on this sprayer, it's not going to make a whole hell of a lot of difference. So I can pretty much can do it anywhere, but measure out 204 feet. And you do this in several gears to get your time spacings. So like I say, if you find out that in fifth gear, you're putting 25 gallons on the acre, but if you went into sixth gear, it got you down to that 20 gallons to the acre, then you don't have to change your pressure. And your pressure is more of a fine tuning. So that's what you gotta do is several different gears to get your spacings. Now I'm I don't rush things. It takes longer than it should to do this, but I can get my spraying done in a day, two at the most, if I just go at it. So it makes no difference to me. So what I am in is fifth gear. I'm putting this at RPM speed. Should take me 26 seconds to travel 204 feet. Once you get these numbers figured out, what you need is a container that has ounce markings. And now that I got that all figured out, I'm gonna put uh, start up the Put the tractor up to PTO speed, turn on the booms, and then you catch under one nozzle in this container. And the number of ounces you come out with is the number of gallons per acre you're putting on. So, I get this started up and we'll see what she's putting out. Let's see, get a time mark and catch here. So 
Let it go for 26 seconds. It's got a little bit of foam in there. But that's right at 20, right at the bottom of the foam. I'm gonna cut it down just a hair though. Okay, we'll do this again. It's about 19. I cut it down about three pounds of pressure. So we're right in the ballpark where I want to be. It should do at least one nozzle in every boom here. And see how we can pack up that drift. Man, it's just too damn windy to be spraying today. But I can get this ready. It might calm down yet tonight and I can get it done. At least get started. Tomorrow's supposed to be good, so maybe I can get it done tomorrow. That's about 18 on this side. It's a little bit less than the other side, but I'd say we're good. But that should be good where I want it. If I figure it's around 19. If I figure 20 gallons of water per acre, I'm actually gonna mix a little less chemical this year since I'm gonna be spraying mostly Roundup. I can mix it just a hair bit on the weaker side. You're not gonna be driving at the constant speed all the time. This isn't a fancy new sprayer where it's gonna automatically compensate for your speed and everything. So, and what I'm spraying is an, is an ounces per acre, you know, it's two quarts, a quart and a half, two quarts the acre, so I'm going to be plenty within range. Like I said, I think Roundup, you can spray up to three quarts to the acre per year, and if I mix it for two quarts per acre and I'm a little on the heavy side, I'm still within range. So, but that's the main thing I need to know, just about where... You know, that I'm not five gallons off from what I'm figuring it should be spraying. And I say I'm good to go. Gotta get this field sprayed here pretty damn soon. Like I say, this was sod that's plowed up. So a lot more grass is gonna come back in on it. So. But the first stuff I planted, and I went and looked at that this morning, it's all fairly clean. I mean, it's got grass, but nowhere's near this. So like I said, I get, oh, ditch is deep. Mm.
Yeah, it's about mid shin. Actually, this is next to last stuff I planned. Last stuff I planned was down in Crawford County, which is like two days after this. That's the other one I gotta go check. I gotta go down there and see what the, how bad that corn is. That was awful. A lot of ragweed in that last year. Like that there. But I went there and I hit that. I actually mixed the atrazine and Roundup together last year on that. Because I didn't have quite enough for either one. So it was weak doses on both of them, but I'm when I put on, it annihilated everything down there. So like, like I said, this is bad here. So that's why I'm going to do the same thing on this. I'm going to mix the Roundup. This will kill all this off. The atrazine will get down, take care of the new growth. So I'm going to put corn in here again next year. And I got one other field this bad too. I'm going to do the same thing. And then everything else, I'm just spraying Roundup. Like I said, most of the other corn is almost knee high right now. So I get in there with this Roundup and knock that back. And here next two, three weeks, it grows in size. It'll canopy up, hopefully, and it'll be fairly clean. But... So I guess since I can't spray, being too windy, maybe I'll go start picking up some of my round bales. Can't mow hay. They got, tomorrow's supposed to be good, but they got rain most of, most of next week. So that's what I'm hoping. I can get this done tomorrow and maybe I can get some of the hay picked up and covered before it gets rained on. So. Thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you later.